Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the work week. The time is currently 614. We'll start off by taking a live look outside from our Black Desert Sky Cam down in St. George. Have that beautiful sunrise glow over the horizon and not a cloud in the sky. In St. George, you really won't see too many changes in your weather compared to what we saw yesterday. In northern Utah, it'll be a little bit of a different story thanks to a weak cold front that's going to be working its way through. In the meantime, though, right now we're just checking in with partly cloudy skies, a really nice view from West Valley City. As we look off towards the Wasatch, temperatures are mainly starting off in the 50s and 60s, but there are some exceptions out there. Heber right now sitting at 39. We're at 48 degrees in price, while St. George is currently sitting at 66 degrees. You got the door forecast on the Wasat front. We'll be right around 70 degrees by 9 o'clock this morning because as of last check, we're sitting in the upper 60s in Salt Lake City. We'll see increasing clouds of temperatures in the middle 70s by your lunch hour. I think between noon and 5, we'll see a daytime high right around 80 degrees. However, as we go from the second half of this afternoon into this evening, there will be at least the potential for some isolated showers and thunderstorms as that cold front works to way across the state and you can see this general thunderstorm risk mainly for the northern half of the state. So while the best chance of wet weather will favor the high train, if you have any plans to be outside across the northern half of the state, just keep your eyes at the sky just in case. And by later on today, we could see a few showers and thunderstorms as far south as Iron County before things calm down as we move into tonight when the cold front passes through. Your regional forecast will see daytime highs across the state mainly in the 70s and 80s, but down in southern Utah, as mentioned in St. George, the weather won't stray too far away from what we saw yesterday yesterday with a daytime high of 95, but we'll also get to 94 in Moab and a daytime high of 93 degrees in Lake Powell. And outside of any showers and thunderstorms today, we'll mainly check in with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. As we zoom things in here, you'll see daytime highs ranging in the upper 70s and low 80s on the Wasatch Front in Utah County, since it's going to take a little while longer for the front to arrive. Actually could see mid 80s this afternoon, while Park City will see a daytime high of 71. In central Utah, you'll see highs range anywhere from 74 in Fairview to 93 degrees in Green River. Then down in southern Utah, daytime highs ranging anywhere from 75 in Bryce Canyon to 95 in St. George, while we'll get to 82 degrees in Blanding, and we'll see a daytime high of 81 degrees in Beaver. Let's be, begin the future cast and time things out for you. So by 7 o'clock this morning, this front working its way across the state, and then this afternoon, that's when we bring in that chance for showers and thunderstorms with the added instability from the daytime heating, and even at 4 o'clock does show that potential on the Wasatch front and Wasatch back. Then going into this evening, maybe a few showers and thunderstorms as far south as Iron County before that cold front begins to pull away. Looking at mostly quiet skies as we move into tonight. And then for our Thursday with our winds out of the northwest, it will be a little bit cooler across the northern half of the state with really not too many changes down south and maybe a few isolated showers and thunderstorms in Kane and Garfield County. Then by Friday, high pressure starts to build its way back in. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and our daytime highs will begin to warm back up. And you can kind of tell that based on the pollen forecast. Today we're going to be in the high threshold, maybe a little bit of a break for our Thursday. Then it'll start to climb again as we round out the work week and move into this upcoming weekend. So we have that low pressure that's driving the cold front today. Here comes that high pressure building in for our Friday and Saturday before we see another weak system move in Saturday into Sunday. So temperatures could ease down slightly as we end out end the weekend, but we'll be looking at temperatures staying relatively consistent just with one more weak system set to pass through before a ridge of high pressure likely builds in by the second half of next week. And if this high pressure is this strong by the end of next week, we could be looking at the hottest temperatures we'll have seen so far this year. In the meantime, in St. George, we'll see daytime highs consistently in the mid to upper 90s over the next seven days will continue to be breezy under mostly sunny skies with overnight lows generally in the mid to upper 60s. Along the Wasatch front, we'll have that potential for isolated showers and thunderstorms later on today. Temperatures briefly drop into the middle 70s for our Thursday. Then those temperatures are right back into the mid and upper 80s by Saturday. Highs holding steady in the 80s as we round out the weekend and move into early next week.